Good people, I am back with another reaction video. This time is to Shaft from 1971. Yeah, this is my first time ever watching Shaft from 1971. Now, I have seen the Samuel Jackson Jackson version of Shaft. Now, let me give you a little history on black exploitation for some of you guys don't know, and I'm just kind of getting familiar about the history of it myself. Black exploitation is a subset of exploitation cinema, which is fundamentally com compromised of independently produced low budget B movies or grindhouse films. These films typically revolve around lewd, violent, or taboo subject matter and are engineered specifically to attract an audience through sensation and controversy. Black exploitation films feature black actors in lead roles and typically centered around African Americans overcoming oppressive, antagonistic, and generally white authority figures referred to as none other than the man. The term was coined by Junius Griffin of the LA NAACP chapter. It was coined as a criticism for the less than positive images of African Americans. The 60s were a turbulent time for race relations and also Hollywood. With the insurgence of television and the rapid decline in popular musicals, the film industry was bleeding out and facing bankruptcy. With the proud proclamations of black power becoming more progressively more audible throughout America, it became impossible for Hollywood to ignore African American society. It gave the, its first chance to filmmaker Melvin Van Peoples, whose independently sweet backs badass song grossed $15 million despite its X rating for sexual nature from the MPAA. Ben Peoples' sweet bag laid the framework for the black exploitation genre and gave Hollywood the formula that proved to be their deliverance from ruin. Despite this genre's potential to reinforce negative stereotypes, a large majority of the black community considered black exploitation cinema to be a sign of progress during the time. So let me give you the plot of Shaft. Cool black private eye John Shaft is hired by a crime lord to find and retrieve his kidnapped daughter. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Shaft, first time watching. We had a, uh, in my hometown, we had a movie theater. It was cool, we only let show one movie. But every Friday, it would be a different one. It was so cool. That's a good time. Uh, look at that music right there. Shaft, you damn right. Hey, them, Shaft. Hey, they got a crosswalk? <laughs> Shaft. Get out of the way. Chef, it's a, that's a car. That that wasn't that wasn't a constructive move right there. That was just anger. Why was Shaft walking in the middle of the street? <laughs> Are they just trying to portray him as upset at the beginning? Don't say he's an angry black male. <laughs> Man walked in the middle of the street. This is about to be over the credits. A couple of dudes from uptown looking for you. Hey, See you uptown. That's Mario Van Peebles' daddy. Oh, that's that's Melvin Van Peebles right there. Find you. What they look like? We were just talking about One him. Was wearing a funky plaid I coat. believe that's Melvin. Look like him. Well, I thought you might know something I want to know. Seems there have been a lot of low, quiet rumbles going on uptown. Our people have been able to pick up the sounds of it, but no words. That's because us black folk talk mush mouth, Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> mush mouth. You know, I've, I've been reading how our dialect, how African American dialects, we still have like some of the Igullah so tribe, the Igbo tribes, or West, West Africa in our dialect. Like how some words like okay comes from uh, the Gullah and the Igbo tribes. They find you? Of course, I wasn't hiding. If you find out anything, give me a call, huh? I'm just... Right on. <laughs> I remember the 70, right on. Are well, you gonna scare people, brother? You a big black dude? Oh. Who are you looking? <laughs> Make a noise and I'll cut you two back up. Anything wrong with the chat? It's a sick friend here. Jim, can you get us a car up? What happened? That Don DC carry. Open the door. You hear the music with the. Tuk, 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 tuk. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Whoa. Shaft knocked that man. Knocked the. Oh, he knocked the gun out of his hand. Let me say this. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the camera work they trying to get in. It's good stuff, bro. Oh, he's gonna the window. Shaft threw the man out. Now they can find you dead or alive. Now what's your goddamn story? Bumpy, they must bring you uptown. Bumpy Johnson? Suggesting I could lose my license? You're damn right I am. Threatening my livelihood is a violation of my rights, isn't it, Vic? Uh, Chef, hey, Chef, I'm gonna tell you, he, he know the law. I don't give a damn what he likes. Now what the hell are you pumping me for? Two weeks ago we started picking up runs. Wanna know what it is before we need an ad machine and start counting up the bodies. Bumpy wants you for something? Bumpy Johnson? That's what I'm guessing it is. Oh, it's my black card to see you so concerned about us minority folks. <laughs> oh my goodness. This 
black shit. What you mean? What does that mean? You ain't so black. Oh my goodness. And you ain't so white, baby. I don't know about that. That whole interaction. All I'm asking you is to let me know what's going on. No names, no places. Tell me the name of the game so I know the rules. <laughs> I think you know that better than him, my brother. You got the number of Bumpy's private phone? Mm hmm. Take off. I'll see what he wants. Right on. Oh, my goodness. What about no Vic Andrazi? Gonna put a pin up to the man's face and say, you ain't that black. And what is that, like, like, what does that mean? What does he mean by that? I know he's trying to make a bigger point, like, you ain't with him. Hey, hey, black is, black is something else that you aren't. My brother, he didn't create the term. So you help him understand what that term means. Bumpy, I'm thinking it's Bumpy Johnson, right? Oh man, uh, that's just a name from Good Times. <laughs> you turn around in that chair so cold. Looking for you, Sheriff. I got an office. That was uh, Florida's, uh, she married him. That was a new husband. That's what? some cold shit. Brother, he gonna shoot you. Throwing my man Leroy out the window. Picked my man up and threw him out the <laughs> goddamn window. <laughs> oh my goodness. That man said he picked my man up and threw him out the window. Brother. What is your man doing there? Messing with him. If the man ever come down here, you make sure you be here. Waiting. You're in my chair. Man, that man right there. I like this guy. You make sure you be here. Bumpy, you better get out of that chair. And you already threw one dude out the window. Somebody kidnapped my daughter Marcy. They believe no ransom, no nothing. And nobody saw her. So they came to... You the finder. That's the fucking job. They can't, why didn't they just? Could have had a conversation instead of this dude getting thrown out the window. Wow. Sweet talking to man's old lady while you're beating an old man out of his paycheck in the back room of a horse parlor. Dang, Being bro. his kid shit to shoot in his arm. Who could hit you, Bumpy? Well, there's a piece of Harlem I can't get at when one of them militants got an arm on. She's been into some of that stuff. Bunch calls themselves the Lamumba. The La Moombas. I get a free hand to move any way I want. You find my baby. <laughs> Bumpy hurt. Good actor. It's a good actor. But see, that man broke demeanor so fast right here. You find her. He was hard a minute ago. A meager hard though, you know what I'm saying? Like hard when I say he's just rough, he seemed rough around the edges. And then he just, when he did that right there, it's broke. Hey, that's, that's some acting, man. Made me feel that. Ben Buford used to live here. No. Why? Looking for him. Ben Buford. Oh, I am too. It owes me six months rent. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you find out you tell me. It's a meeting at nine. I can't guarantee it. I just heard some cat tell another cat that they both in the movement with Ben, Dick. Yeah, well, stay loose, baby. Stay loose, baby. I'm glad we started saying baby. Hi. How you doing? Who is this? Who we got? Watch out, girl. You all right? You just gonna run over here on me like this? Come here, baby. Yeah, watch out now. It's quiet. Unless you want more visitors, you better split up that pair out front. How did you find me? Wasn't hard. You got a big mouth. Cool it, man. Don't let your mouth get your ass in trouble. What is happening? You know Marcy Jonas? Yeah, why? You know where she is? Okay, Tom, used up your minutes. Get out! Don't tell me. You man. know something. Where the gun? Run here. They're coming! Up over the roof, Ben. Yeah, yeah, go! That man got a nice fro, brother. I gotta find out if they were after you or me. That's a good question. Dino, get your bed made up. Why don't you get some sleep, man? Dead brother's laying out there. A lot of dead brothers. This ain't where I should be. Where should you be? Until we find out why they're dead, this is the only place for you to be. You think like a white man. And you don't think at all. You want to get wasted? If that's what it takes, yeah. Marvin sleeping. Who is teach? Hey, that's, uh, 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 oh my goodness. What is her name? I think I'm going to owe you for this, man. You're wrong. 
Ben, you got nothing I want. Yeah, sir, I, you ain't got nothing I want. I like how they talk in this harsh word, like word, like one word. Watch your mouth, man. You don't got Say nothing I, I want, want, man. Not in this house. There you go. Man, having a hard night, brother. Having a hard night. That second time, black black female had to had to <laughs> send him right. You ain't gonna be doing nothing in this house, young man. You remember my telling you that Bumpy was doubling his crews up in Harlem? Three guys from L.A., two from Phoenix, guy from Decatur, Illinois. Decatur. I think every black person on the planet has family in Decatur. I got a cousin in Decatur. Everybody got a cousin in Decatur. Mafia. Just got into town. Here's what some of our visitors look like. Mm. You know, it might help if I knew what Bumpy hired you for. Never said he did. I enjoy the interaction between him and Andrazi, man. Got to see if you clean before you can see the man. That's all good. You know I ain't clean. You get yourself six more helpers in, Willie. <laughs> Might be have your tail. You ain't lying. That man will shoot you right there on the spot. Bumpy will be mad if you don't tell him Shaft is in here. You mean you gonna tangle sooner or later? Why? Stop playing with yourself, Willie. Willie. Why think I be Willie? My brother, my brother, why we gotta talk to each other like that, man? Man, you gon' tangle. Let me get Bumpy, oh my goodness. Bumpy, man, look at Bumpy, man. This man playing this role, cuz. What is his name, Ben? His name was Ben. I think his name was Ben on Good Time. You grabbed the dope hustle up here from the Mafia. Now the Mafia cats wanna move in on you. So the Mafia took your daughter? So the Mafia grabbed your daughter. Knew it when you hired me. What? So he knew he could go, he think he could talk to people. He can't, maybe. Yeah, hired you for a job. Conned you, but I never lied to you. Bought that deal, Shaq. You're going to live with it. Mm hmm Not at these prices, baby. Yeah, because if Mafia got his daughter, that's going to be, that, that's a suicide mission. That's what that is. A lot of hyped up black people give you that money you're spending, pimp. Why you blaming Bumpy? Bumpy is just a tool. You're trying to bullshit me, boy. Oh. Sell broads and dope and numbers. You sell crap and blue sky. It's all the same game. Man, I like Buck, but he. But I want to know why you wanted me to hook up with Ben. You're gonna need an army to get my baby back. We need money. Ten grand a man. All right. I'm pretty sure he prepared for this. He knew he was gonna get had to pay. Just been hustled, Bumpy. Are you sure? Give the money tonight. Y'all gotta go mess with the mafia. Bumpy is getting off easy. Go to my place and turn on the Hey, no, man. <laughs> I've already turned on. No, Billy, turn on the lights. Why would I go turn on your lights, Chef? How about let me take over the bar for a while? Nothing I wouldn't do for $20. He sure gave it out 20s. He gave a woman $10 to fix her door. I guess $10 in the 70s is a lot. Oh, I want to see how much $10 was in the 70s. $10. And they say it's equivalent in purchase power to about seventy dollars today, or seventy-one dollars. Yeah, might fix up though. Yeah. <laughs> Slick, turn the light on. I got what you want. Where are you? There's a no name bar in the village. Hell, you walk in that front door, and I'll close up right now. <laughs> Shaft, man. John Shaft. Freeze. Oh, I thought he was gonna let him continue. Oh no. Hey! I wasn't prepared. Can I have a little private talk with him? You're busting his head. Settle. Nah, man, see? Just want to find out Andrazi. On urban renewal. Andrazi, yeah, ask him about urban renewal. Speaking for Bumpy Jonas. Bumpy Jonas. And I'll call you at 12.30 sharp and meet you a quarter to one somewhere in the village. They got nice places with 1970. I like to see a Harlem brownstone like the inside of one. Put Ben on. Yeah. I need two good men. You ready? Where and when? In front of Cafe Reggio down in the village. Five minutes later, be too late. I'll be there. Five minutes late, be too late. <laughs> I'm looking for a nigga named John Chef. Just found him. Wait. Wow. Hold on. Wait. Hold on, brother. I don't know what that N-word mean, but my name is John Shaft. Call me John. 
This is 1970s. You see how the tensions were, right? I was reading it earlier. Racial tensions, even the 70s is high. Racial tensions now, because we all have one big problem, and this is serious. We need to solve that, the race problem. Let's go. What's happening here? All right, all right, all right. Davies, you stay here. Rem, you get around to the back of the building and keep an eye on the alley door and stay out of sight. What if they come out our way? Davies, you follow. Rem, you come back from me. Open it. Easy, easy. They won't shoot, Marcy. Come on over here. You sure? You trying to tell me they'd blow your way to get me? That's right. Dang. You're my ace, so I gotta call you. He's got 24 hours to deal, or he's got a dead daughter. Okay, see, so I think Shaft just wanted to, oh, man. I guess he wanted to take his chances. At least, oh, my goodness. At least he knows she's alive. You're right. Get me up out of here. Get me up out of here. You know where they took her? One of the brothers tailed him. He's watching the place now. Everything's cool, baby. Don't worry. Everything cool, baby. Tight as you can get it, I Gotta get up as soon as you're done. Shaft doing better than a wheel did in high noon. Let me tell you that right now. Look, I need three cabs on the corner of 9th and Washington. How soon? Now, man, now. <laughs> These conversations that we have with each other, man. It sounds cool, right, on TV. I mean, watching it on a movie, oh, this is awesome. But, like, when we talk to each other like this in real life, nothing constructor can come, can come of it. Oh. Look at this, man, Robin. Let's go! You ain't gonna Robert, uh, Gerard Carmichael? I'm so glad that we got rid of the baby terminology. We only we use it for, uh, you know, speaking, uh, a term of endearment for uh, our female companions, but we were saying it back then to everybody, baby. You hear me, baby? Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Send up two coffees and a coat. Right away, sir. Man, ain't gonna bring you nothing. You're a shrewd cat chef. <laughs> now he can get in the room, no though. One dead cat. And man, they had a complimentary, plan. uh... No mistakes. Complimentary uh, steak plan. I roll this in here for you guys. You know, the best part of Shaft is the interactions, of course, with Bumpy. But him and uh, with Bumpy, Jonas, and uh, Andrazi. That's what makes this movie, though. Guys, want your coat, man. <laughs> your coat, man. Man, gonna, they gonna run the elevator. They got the whole building on lock. Come in through the skylight. Hey, man. Y'all making a little too much noise now. But that guy heard something. What's the guy there was at the restaurant looking for Shaft? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 50 years ago, I would have been like, oh yeah, knock him out. Oh, dang. He hit him, he stood up. What about this? Burn the smoke about something? Are you gonna burn that? How are you making like a little torch or something? This man climbing up the window. He's gonna climb up to the room. Give me a cigarette. She is, she gonna smoke on your way up? Do you think that's good around gasoline? Alright, man, look. I understand being cool, but being too cool can get you killed. There's like seven dudes coming out the elevator. Y'all stand no chance. Oh, ain't nobody even in the room because they didn't knock everybody out. Hey, everybody look like they work here. Man, we got to jump by the staff. <laughs> I don't know, man. It was the staff, man. Them dudes is crazy. Y'all need to change your hiring practices. Oh, they got, I forgot they had the water hose. What are you going to do? Look at this nonsense. Bruh, that thing should have blew.
Which way y'all going out? He picked that man up quick. Can we get her in there? Let's go. The thing about using the cabs is it'll be hard to identify him. He's probably gonna hit the traffic or something. That's what my guess. And they're just gonna blend into the traffic. All those taxi cabs. Vic, your case just busted wide open. Looks like you're gonna have to close it yourself. Shitty. <laughs> Bumpy Jonas. Let that music. Shaft, man, that was great. These older movies, man, have been excellent. And that one, the interactions between him and Bumpy Jonas, it actually displayed, portrays how we speak to each other on a daily basis, man. We always cool when we talk like that, right? We always want to be cool, Shaft, cool. That is just the epitome of what black males want to be, John Shaft, right? I really enjoyed this movie. I will be doing more black exploitation films. I think the next one is going to be one with Fred the Hammer Williamson. It's called Black Caesar. And if you guys have any other suggestions that you'd like to see me watch, I've seen a few, man, uh, black exploitation films. But uh, this one was like the one I've never seen. It's probably the most popular. I don't know. Uh, but either, either way, man. It's a, uh, it was a really enjoyable time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. But let me know what you thought about Shaft. 1971, I believe. Was it 71? 72? I can't remember. In the comment section below. And if it's your first time visiting us, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share. It's wonderful, wonderful channel. Guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until next time, peace.